Hi everyone, David Mail here from TechnoHow. Today we're going to do something really cool and quick and interesting. Don't do this at home. So what I've got is a 9 volt adapter that I've cut the end piece off. So it's just two wires and in this container we're going to do our electrolysis to move the metal from this side, which is a paper clip, to this side, which is an old kitchen knife that we no longer need. Inside this container it looks a little bit murky. What you have in there is sea salt instead of regular salt. We're going to see what sea salt does with mixed with equal parts of white sugar. So I want to see what that does with this. I know it's going to work, but let's see what the outcome is going to be. And again, this is a nine volt adapter. Don't do this at home because you can we're plugging in with electricity. So let's plug this in and let's see what happens here. And as you can see on this, you'll start to see that there's bubbles forming over here on the knife and they're getting faster. But again, this is nine volts, so it's not like a 15, 16 volt or higher, but it's still going pretty good. You can see the electrolysis occurring. Zoom out. And you can see the bubbles forming. And at the top, there is some dark stuff going on there that it's forming. And let's see what goes on here. Let's give it a minute here. And we can quickly see the bubbles come in the top. So that is both oxygen and hydrogen. So it's from H2O. You got hydrogen, you're gonna have two parts, one part oxygen. So you're gonna have more, twice the amount of hydrogen as you are oxygen. So again, do not do this at home and do not do this while smoking or anything explosive is going on near it because you're creating flammable gas. As you can see, it's clearly creating a good bit of gas. It'll be interesting to see in a minute here. Let's turn this off and we'll take a look at it. So now we've unplugged it and let's see what we got here. Got some black stuff at the top. It hasn't changed a whole lot other than the top. Let's take a look at the other part here. Let's take a look at the paper clip. The paper clip has completely turned black. Look at that. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's the sugar or the uh, components in the um, sea salt. Because sea salt obviously is not just pure salt. So it's got minerals in it. Might be the minerals, but look at that. It turned completely black. That is interesting. So we've let this set for 10 minutes with this running to see what it would do. And it's come out with, it's got brown goop on the top and it's kind of like greenish, bluish and clear in the middle. And then it's kind of yellowish at the bottom. And let's take a look at these. We got a big bunch of goop at the top of our knife. We got to clean this thing off. I'm not sure Sorry about that. And then let's take a look at this. This is our paper clip, which is completely black as before. So I took these out and cleaned them off so you could see afterwards what happened. And you clearly see on the uh, paper clip, is, you can see where the tape was here. This is the way the paper clip originally was with the chrome on it. That is completely removed except for a piece here that was underneath the metal here. And it is gone. And the black was just like soot. It just came right off and it's left with a uh, not etched but like a rougher feel to it and then this is the knife and as you look at this you can see right here it kind of etched it at the top it didn't really do a whole lot to the knife here that I can see um, but it did definitely etched it at the top right there at the, there was where the water mark was on it right there again don't do this at home and I hope you found this interesting and informational. Thanks again. Have a great day.